campus of the University of Minnesota, home to their new stadium and what is sure to be a great game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's to the 20, gets out to about the 21. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Wide receiver screenplay. He's tackled in the open field. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 44. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He's at the 40. And he's tackled at about the 31. He carried that one for a huge game. You know what? You can see the ball carrier showcase his speed. Once he got into the open field, he just turned on the Jets and flew. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. He tackles him for a loss. And they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Second and 13. Ball on the 34-yard line. Bowser gets the ball again. And he's level at the 35. the stop around the 24 yard line that was a good pass and catch there but still not enough for the first down that's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense all the defense has to do is stay back keep everything in front of them come up and make a tackle it's up and it's good and he's got to be happy about that kick oh no question this kid is just a solid kicker three nothing northwestern sends it sailing downfield They'll bring him down to the 19-yard line. The Golden Gophers having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. So he's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays, uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. Lost a few yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 29-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. Going for it all to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 25. And 
and down he goes at the 27-yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 27. Quick throw inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's taken down at the 10. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. This is the ninth play of this drive. Brought down around the eight yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. Let's get off the field, dude. Let's get off the field. Nearly intercepted. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Minnesota is looking to tie things up. Kicks up. And he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. McGowan fields it at the two. And down he goes at the 24. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's taken down at about the 35. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. He's out of bounds at about the 45. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Let's get that ball, Let's get that ball right here. Hey, check right, check right. Up the middle for a nice game. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. Tackled right away. Passes it to the middle of the field. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And he's immediately tackled. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. Quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's the ninth play of the drive. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Fourth down. It looks like.
looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Northwestern is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. And it's off the crossbar. No good. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's got an opening. Runs right for a nice game. That brings him second and five. the running back no good number 24 was the intended receiver on the play from their own 33 yard line third down got it but he's going to lose yards here the offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series and now they should come away with pretty good field position so consider that a big stop Crawford to punt. And this one is a beauty. Well, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple of things, but I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He's to the 40, and he's hit immediately. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First Mike 20, Mike 20. Gives it to the back. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. Game of seven on the play. That'll make it third and one. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Will this is the tactical of the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 20, Mike 20. Go, go, go. He'll get the call again. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That's a that makes it second and ten. Thank you. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. They'll line it up again on third down. Fires it out. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Northwestern could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's no good. It lands short. No 
They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Five wide. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That was a loss of three yards. That'll make it third and 13. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Wants to throw outside. And he's got it! And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he just gets rid of it. We played one. 3-3 three, three tie. Okay, set to resume action here in the second quarter. And we've got a tight ball game. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 21. That makes it fourth and inches. Come out on an empty backfield. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Fires quickly. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 64 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Minnesota lines up for the kickoff. He's tackled at the 19. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. immediately. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 17. Catches it and hit immediately for the loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. 
fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That brings us fourth and three. Douglas, the return man. Gets to about the 47-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Minnesota is up seven. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Drop back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From the 38-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll be a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll make it fourth and 14. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Minnesota is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, and he didn't get all of it. It falls short. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 38 yard line, it's second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. Catches it, and that's all. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Adams is the putter. Minnesota's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star type game right now, and yet they got the lead here and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go to wide receivers not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates of this receiver stepped up. Minnesota is up by a touchdown. Strike to his receiver, no good. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body length. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 21. He's out to the 30. He's hit and taken down. Now who's the penalty going to be called out here? 
offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and he shoved out of bounds at the nine-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. That makes it fourth and long. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. Around the 42-yard line. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Fires quickly to the tight end. Brought down in the open field. Bowser on the inside handoff, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 31 yard line. tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. He rifles it to the left. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that, from going to the meetings the other day, is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Kicks up. Well, they leave three points on the field there. So the score is still 10-3, Minnesota. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Minnesota is up a score. Nice run, and he's brought down. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. Two minutes to go in the half. The Golden Gophers taking their first time out of the half. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Green was the intended receiver on that way. That'll make it third and five. Larry, Larry. Here we go. Short pass, middle of the field. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. Crawford is waiting for the snap.
And he's tackled at the 28. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw, almost intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 41-yard line. Makes the tactical. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He's out of bounds around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Complete brought down, nothing doing. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Northwestern's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 34-yard line, second down. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick pass. The ball is loose, and the defense picks it up. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow them down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Minnesota up seven points. He lets it fly. Great concentration to pull it in. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! <laughs> he splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. McGowan from the two. What a collision. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He's got his man across the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 40. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black, black five, 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 That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Kill, kill, kill! Three, six, First down. Dog, four, go! He goes downtown. Throws complete touchdown. And they had a 
tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he hits the PAT. So a fourth play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. A tight first half of football and we head to the break. 17-10, Golden Gophers. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel. For sure, they're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to find some new defenses. You always come into the week and come into that game, and you think you have a plan to, to, to stop a designed offense. It's not working. You've got to do something a little bit different this second half. They, they, they planned all week. They didn't plan properly. They've got to find some new ways to, to put pressure on the quarterback and make things happen on defense. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you are at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Minnesota is up seven. And they make the stop at the 27. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. Under heavy pressure. Quick out to his receiver. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Looks left, finding his tailback. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Crawford to punt. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Return for a game of 10 yards. 
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Hands it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. And he stopped behind the line. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down around the 33-yard line. Douglas is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Minnesota is up by a touchdown. Those completely stopped immediately. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. And he hits him hard at the 49. That makes it first and ten. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. That brings up second and nine. They run it left. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and five wide. He's got an opening. He's at the 30. He goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they push him out right around the 16-yard line. Minnesota is up a score. Ready. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. That makes it first and goal. They come out in a five wide set. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Minnesota! Tack on another score, his third in the passing game. Yeah, this guy is in his zone. He's catching every single ball thrown his way. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 60-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he carries the ball for a nice game. 
That's Bowser. Gets you about four yards on the draw play. And they get nice yardage on that run. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That brings up second and nine. Go for it! They try to get a head start there. False start. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 39. And down he goes at the 48. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Tackled after a decent pickup. Game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Laterals back. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. He makes it to the 35 yard line. To the senior. Brought down at the 18 yard line. Game of 17. First down. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Northwestern. And he adds the extra point. Northwestern is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first? Here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute, put points up. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Minnesota up seven points. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's a game of the That makes it second and two. hit immediately. He's out of bounds right around the 40.
There's a strike complete. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. for a loss, a four-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's got the junior. He's tackled in the open field. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's tackled right away. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. And he's leveled at the 49-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. He gets to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Steps out of bounds at the 38. to him before he could get back to the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. So with one quarter remaining, the Golden Gophers in front, 24-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 31. Run there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Here's third and three. Ball on the 24. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. Harris makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Opening. He gets to about the five. That makes it first and goal. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. 
Here's play number 14 of this drive. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. He throws right. Complete. It's the junior to the 10. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Here we go. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Taken down around the 36 yard line. First down. Easy, easy. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Five yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Second and long. Ball on the 31-yard line. Black five, black five. Four. Kill, kill. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. First down. Fires it out. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. He 
fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and six. Here's an opening. The 10 makes it out to about the 10. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Tackle at the two yard line. Game of eight yards. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Wildcats. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Northwestern to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Throws this one away. Third and five. Ball on the 30 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 36. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 35. Three down, three down. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings up third and 12. Just under three to go in regulation. He steps out right around the 44-yard line. Crawford awaits the snap. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. And for Ramsey, what a night it's been. Well, what's great about this offense is having a quarterback that can hurt you both running and throwing. And we've seen that today. And anybody watching this game who thinks this quarterback is simply a running quarterback, better take note, because he's proven here today that he can also throw the football. Well, he might not get another chance to take his team into the end zone. So the time to come through in a big way is right now. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Mauser, the ball carrier, he gets out to about the 38-yard line.
carries the ball for a nice game. Five makes the tackle. That's, That's good, good for a gain of five, five yards. yards. First down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, kill, kill, kill! kill. Quick pass, knocked out of bounds at the 39. Call it a gain of 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Just under two minutes in the game. Flips it, middle to the running back. Right down the 37 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Out of bounds at the 34. That'll make it 35. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. throws right away. Incomplete pass. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Kicks up and he missed it right. No good. That is a big miss at this stage of the game. This offense still has enough time to make a trip down the field and potentially win the game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Number seven was the intended receiver on that way. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. Feeds it to the back. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Just over a minute left. Stop in his tracks with that tackle. That brings up second and nine. Around the 31-yard line. Third down again. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. The kick is up. Wow, with that miss, we're just a little bit closer to overtime. This kid needs to keep his head in the game because they might need him again in overtime. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Game 14 yards. First down. From the 48-yard line. First down. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Once and all, going deep. No, incomplete. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. 
Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's level at the four-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. He dives and he'll be marked down. From the one-yard line, second down. Western. It can be advantageous to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up the score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on them. And he tacks on the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. Throws it out right to the running back. And they make the stop at the 12. He gets out to about the nine yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. It's second and six. Nine yards to the goal line. They come out in a five-wide set. There's the strike complete. Touchdown, Minnesota! It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Inside the 10. Caught. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. He makes the PAT. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. With the pass, incomplete. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was underthrown. That makes it second and ten. He goes out of bounds around the 21 yard line. That'll bring up 36.
He delivers. Looks to the end zone and is caught. Touchdown. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And if two overtimes weren't enough, we are going to a third. And extra points are no longer allowed. If anyone scores a touchdown, they've got to go for two. Fires that quickly incomplete. From the 25-yard line, second down. And off to the left. Good outside run there. Anderson gains about four yards on the play. Five wide. Nearly intercepted. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. It's up, and he's got it. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. the 17-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. They're at the five. Second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle at the three. Williams picks up two yards with a carry. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Golden Gophers coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.